Hi guys, Micro here. This is my totally unique bossing series. We're on week two and day six. In this episode, we got another pet to share with you guys and we've done loads of different bosses alongside four different masses. So let's get into this video. Starting this video off with some Corp. Now that I have pretty much two thresholds on the pet, I'm going to start duoing it a bit more often. I have a really high chance of actually getting a sigil doing it in duo. And if I have two thresholds on the pet, the pet is around a 1 in 800 chance, just a little bit under that. So it's not actually that rare at that point. I honestly wouldn't mind doing 800 kills duo because you can get like 60 kills in the hour anyway. So it would only be around 13 hours or so theoretically and I could have the pet. In those 13 hours, hopefully I'd get some sigils and stuff along the way. And then you make a lot of money from all the Onyx bolts and stuff as well. Hey, we got a Spectral Sigil. It's only 500k and it's not the best drop, but it ticks it off on my log, so now I only need the other three sigils. It's probably going to take forever though. I got cannibals. Looking at the price check from the hour of Corp, obviously the sigil was only 536k, but it definitely adds to the value. We had one cannibal drop, which is 580k, and then two onyx bolt drops, which add up to 2.8 mil. Overall, we made 8.5 mil in this hour, so it was even better than the last hour duo that I did in the previous episode, and we got 4.25 mil each. Then again, commenting on the charms, I got 168 blue and 129 crimson. I didn't get anywhere near all of the drops because we share them kind of 50 50 so both people getting that many charms is pretty epic after that i had done an hour of rots before i started the basses rots is so much fun and it's so enjoyable just messing around with everyone it's still really really good money even when you're messing around to high heavens it makes it so much more enjoyable doing it with a group of friends that are just having a laugh. I'd much rather have a laugh doing rots than super try hard. I'd take the cut in money, no problem. I think the most fun that I have is in the tunnels after rots, to be honest. It's really funny. You can't use the ledge if someone else has just used it. But that also applies when they're going back over the ledge. So if you go forward and backwards constantly, you really mess it up for the other person and sometimes they can't click it for a good 5 to 10 seconds. So one of my favourite pastimes is just clicking the ledge like 5 times back and forth just so people take ages to get over. Maybe I'm just a horrible human being. Ah, walking in. Well, I'm limping, you're walking. <laughs> it's like just waste food, why not? <laughs> Another really neat trick you can do is you can go over the ledge and then you can take the rope swing back so it gets rid of that shortcut as well. Ah, I love being mean. The first mass of the day we did was Corporal Beast and there was seven Odax coils this time and a good 30 plus people that showed up. We had the return of the turtles and they were spread out all across the floor. A lot of people were dropping loads of other items as well. I saw some dragon boots here and there and all of that good stuff. Always nice just to see people having a laugh and enjoying themselves. That's why I enjoy the masses so much. It gets so many people together. Another really neat thing at the court mass is Vengeance Group. When he does his AoE mage ability, it triggers everyone's vengeance. So you get like 25 people all yelling taste vengeance at the same time and it is glorious. Looking at my drop log from Corp, I have 1,070 kills, I have 6 Spirit Shields, 3 Holy Elixir, and one of those sigils that you saw earlier in my duo. So I need 3 more sigils and the pet, and I have 2 thresholds on the pet, so I'll be doing a fair amount of Corp in the future to be honest. Probably will be duoing it a lot and then carrying on with the masses. Another mass that went surprisingly well was the Dagonoff Kings. We made it so it had a rotation where the range one would die first, then the melee, then the mage. So it gave you enough time to change your gear a little bit, suit in for each one. I just took void and I only really changed my weapons. You have so high accuracy and stuff anyway, you don't really need much. As long as you can actually hit them, you're good. So I would just shoot down the first one with my bow, switch to my scythe, melee the next one, switch to my staff and kill the last one. Just done that over and over again and it made quick and easy work of the Dagonoff Kings. I must have got about 250 to 300 kills just in this mass alone because we were killing them so quickly. That's really awesome thresholds towards the pets in no time. I also managed to get a fair amount of loot, which I'll show quickly now. Dragon axes seem to like me. I got a dragon hatchet. <laughs> hey, I got another dragon hatchet. 
<laughs> there's two. Another dragon hatchet. Okay, that's the third one. Now it was time for my favorite mass out of all of them, and that's the cow fight king. One thing I really like to do is whenever it dives underground, whoever it's facing is who it's going to follow when it pops back up. Whenever it's facing me, I make sure to run into a giant group of people so it pops up on top of them. Always nice to see some people getting hit by it. Like I said, I guess I'm just evil. Ah, oh, shark drop. It's always a shark drop. <laughs> see, look, sharks again. Ugh. Perfect kiting, yeah. I got my tier 90 defender. So there was some insane luck at this mass. First starting with Protty getting a cow fight claw. That pet was all he needed for the title. And as you can see, he completed the exiled feat as well and got the title for all of the cow fight king drops. So congratulations to Protty. Then shortly after, 420 also got a cow fight claw drop but what makes it worse is that he had 23 kill count when he did it so that makes it even more crazy and super lucky for that guy he obviously wasn't going to complete the title in his 20 odd kills but that is a really cool achievement oh yeah we got a mace nice <laughs> free dragons <laughs> oh yeah see there we go i said that <laughs> the four out of four dragons. Sorry, guys, we're not going to get any more. I got a Vecna's skull. <laughs> I can split that if you want. It's 200k. <laughs> so we had four drops in this mass, and it was nearly 67 mil. The only problem is 27 people showed up, and I think I counted it wrong and didn't even count myself, so it should have been 28. So I don't even think I got a split, but it's okay because fun is what matters here. And Cow Fight King is my favorite thing to mass like ever. Even though there was 27 people to split with, every single person got 2,450,000 GP each. That pays for most people's deaths who did die, or if people didn't die and got some free-for-all loot as well, people could have made some serious money this hour. Thank you everyone who showed up to this one, it was absolutely awesome. The fourth and final mass of the day was the Mega Duck. I wanted to get to 55 floors, and then after the 55 floors, I wanted to lure the duck to somewhere that's a bit out of the ordinary, like we lured him to the Duel Arena and the Grand Exchange last time. I wanted to find somewhere we could lure him and just troll some people. So we managed to send the duck off another seven times in this hour. 53 time the charm? No. Okay. Didn't want it anyway. Yes, I got it! I actually finally got it on 55! Oh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Look at those beautiful little duckies. We got another pet, boys. I think that makes 13 boss pets now. It's so awesome that I got the duck on the last law of the hour. Now it was time to go troll some people. We went to world 84, which is a really popular portables world. We lured the duck all the way to Lumbridge, and my god it got laggy by the time we got to Lumbridge, especially when people started attacking the duck. All I did was start walking as we got close. We were all quacking and everyone was following me and I started walking the duck on top of as many portables as I could so people would click it and get a bit annoyed. You saw so many people start freaking out, laughing, not knowing what to do and then everyone ganged up on the poor duck as always. Long story short, I tried to lure the duck away. We got all the way over to where the goblins are and the duck died. It's kind of funny though to see how many people we lured out of the portables location to go kill the duck and then seeing them all run back to get their XP gains absolutely priceless ending this video going back to rots i wanted to try my luck at a shield as i'm pretty dry on a shield now throughout this week and last week of the bossing series i haven't had any shields at all and i've got around 90 or 100 kills the shields are a 1 in 80 drop rate so i should be owed one soon hopefully either way you make a lot of money from rots so i'm happy just doing it and not even getting a shield I'll get them eventually. For this hour of ROTS, I managed to make 9.1 mil. ROTS is pretty consistent with the amount of money that you make, so I'm really, really happy being able to make like 9 mil an hour. Once you finally get a shield, they're like 4 mil as well, which is a really nice added bonus. I'm pretty happy with the whole overall of how ROTS is. I think only one or two of us died that hour as well, so it made it really, really good. As always, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for tons of future content all related to RuneScape 3. Goblin Sayers with a Z is my clan. It's open to everyone and anyone. Feel free to join my friends chat my crew in game if you fancy chatting there as well. Plenty of people chilling in there to talk to, including myself. The Discord link is in the description if you want to chat on voice communication or you can join it to be notified for masses and things like that. 
My Twitter is also in the description. And until next time, see ya.